Hi muckers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing really, really, really well. Thank you so much for clicking on my YouTube channel and back on my video. I appreciate it. Okay, we are going to figure out what the hell happened since we left off with the Ethan Klein, Jake Doolittle situation. I filmed on it a couple days ago and posted it. We reacted to Jake's video and it was a very, very, very iffy video and H3 went live later that night and basically responded to it. Now, they uploaded their comeback podcast, which was four and a like half hours long. And it was a long podcast for their comeback, obviously. And I think the Jake Doolittle part took up like three or and a half hours of it or three hours of it. Now, I asked my community and people told me to on video react to the part before they start watching the video, which apparently is where everything goes down and apparently they drop a few bombshells. So I'm going to watch that with you together. And then I'm going to watch the part where they reacted the entire thing on my own in the background while I'm getting ready later on. It's going to be them like dissecting the video. But apparently the part before it is what people want me to watch, which is them talking about their history with Jake Doolittle. Now, I didn't know that there was a history with Jake Doolittle. Hello, Jake Doolittle. I don't know why I would have known that there was a history. I didn't keep up with anything. Um, but let's get into it, okay? So we're gonna watch it a little bit before, but before that, let's get to this. Okay, coming at you live from the city of love, Paris. Valentine's Day is approaching and you better get your orders in. For those people that are single, like myself, or those who are in a relationship and very happy, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, I'm not just bitter saying that. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm happy to say that this video is sponsored by Adam and Eve yet again. They are the longest standing sponsor we've ever had on this channel. And you know the reason for it, you support it, it works. And we have such a high returning customer rate. So thank you so much to everyone who is supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. This is the main support of it. Anyway, if you order now, you will get your stuff before Valentine's Day. So if you go on adamandeve.com and use code ADAM50, you will get... 50% off one item, literally half off one item, and free shipping in the US and Canada. Shipping everywhere else, by the way, as well. I could get it right here to the city of love, Paris, as well. Now, they have a 90-day no-hassle return, so if you don't love your things, you'll be able to have that 90-day window. 24-7 customer service. They are over 50 years in the game, and they are the best in the game. And also, as well, a bunch of their proceeds goes to helping fighting the spread of HIV all around the world. So I love standing behind them. I'm very proud to be one of their sponsors, to have them. And so, yeah, thank you all so much for using the deal. They have a lot of things for people who are in relationships. They have a lot of things for people that are single. They have a lot of self-care things. They have really fun just self-care and games and stuff on there as well. If you go over and look, you'll see. So, again, make sure to get those orders in for Valentine's Day. It's coming up. I know it's a pretty bleak day for us single people people, but it doesn't have to be with code ADAM50. So again, that is adamandeve.com. Using code ADAM50, you will get 50% off one item and free shipping in the US and Canada and shipping everywhere else as well. So ADAM50, 50, 50 off, one item, free shipping. I will see you in the video. Let's go on with it. And thank you, Adam and Eve, yet again for sponsoring this video. And thank you, Muckers, for always supporting the deal. So yeah, if you want, please use the code ADAM50 on adamandeve.com for 50% off one item and free shipping in the US and Canada. It is the biggest support of my channel, but let's get into this. All right, H3 are back. Let's get to it. Okay. All right, <clears throat> so let's talk about this dude. Jake, do better. <laughs> oh, God. Got him, dude. So, this is, <clears throat> so there's all these weird wrinkles in this story. Mm. Let's start from the top here. We Jake, love wrinkles. Jake Doolittle made a video called Ethan Klein, um, Harmful or Hypochondriac, in which he, amongst other things, accuses me of the whole lupus uh, arc that we've been going through of me trying to like figure out what's wrong with me. He accuses me of lying about being sick to make money, which is bananas, as I'll get into. Bananas at how he knew that and is so accurate in his assessment. <laughs> it's crazy. How did he know? How did he know? He's an insider. He's an insider. <laughs> I have a big reveal. Salt Lake City style. <laughs> I am Jake Doolittle. Oh my mm. God. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Really, bro? You're going to really say that about Gypsy Rose? She was being poisoned by her mom. That's just not say. cool. <laughs> he said it about her too. Gypsy Rose, harmful <laughs> hypochondriac. <laughs> oh my God. That's not cool, man. <laughs> DD. Oh my God. But the whole video is just a bizarre, <clears throat> really weird personal attack. Sorry, not the Gypsy Rose uh, little moment there. Um, okay, so before I start watching this, I'm trying to... 
It's interesting to me. I didn't know if H3 were going to respond to this, and a lot of people didn't know if they were going to respond or whatever because Jake posted the video right as they went on break, which a lot of people were saying was, you know, for the reason of they wouldn't have responded immediately. So maybe it would have taken them a couple weeks and then maybe the story would have died down. Um, but I have seen a clip online that Ethan did say that the, he wasn't going to respond to it, but Jake didn't delete the video and kept it up for the entire like three weeks or something. And a lot of people were saying that Ethan shouldn't be coming at a smaller channel and all like this. And here's my response to that. Like I make videos like Jake does and other creators and it doesn't matter if there's a size imbalance. If you're willing to like put something out there then you can get a response. You know, sometimes you don't, sometimes you do. You have to be prepared for that. And Ethan has every right to respond to it, specifically considering he got called for called out for lying about an illness or profiting off of it or whatever. So I don't know the I don't understand the angle of people being like, why is Ethan coming for a smaller channel? I don't think that is valid in any way, because, again, any of the people I make videos on, they can respond to me. And it's only fair. It doesn't matter if there's a size imbalance. So whatever. And a really strange gatekeeping of um, chronic illness. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and um, the really interesting wrinkle is that this guy's been a huge fan of ours. And actually there's been a ton of interactions of him trying to reach out and get noticed and get attention from almost everybody on the crew. Okay. Um, here's why I don't feel bad talking about this. One, when he put out a teaser right before we went on break, all the comments were like, this, is, this isn't a good idea. Mm -hmm. Like Ethan does have stuff and <clears throat> He, that, all the lupus stuff is just joking. And mm -hmm. like every single comment was pretty much like, don't do this. Also, AB, because when you saw that, you told me that you think it's just a, a joke because it's such a silly premise. I was right. like, there's no fucking way. Because <laughs> I kind of seen it in passing, but I thought it was just he was clickbaiting you for the teaser or something unrelated mm -hmm. for the way that I dubbed said his content cop on Rice Gum. He called it Jake Paul content cop. I thought it was going to be something like that, but I was wrong. <laughs> I think we all slowly realized like, holy shit, this guy's being serious. Because yeah. <laughs> he started answering the comments like, oh yeah. Just, there was like some random person like, I have lupus and this, and I thank you for everything you're doing. He's like, I'm making this video for people like you. And we're like, oh shit, he's being serious. So AB, from a place of kindness, because I knew the minute I saw him doing this, that it was going to make him look really bad and really dumb. Mm -hmm. And AB kindly reached out to him and said, hey, just so you know. No, I'm really intrigued to hear AB's response to this because AB really did get thrown under the bus by Jake Doolittle in this video. Like... Jake talked about a member of the crew was reaching out saying, don't make this video. And in reality, I do think that that was a nice move from AB that he didn't have to do. He wasn't warning, like threatening. He was just like, I don't know if this video is going to work out in the way you think it's going to. And, you know, Jake said in the video, highlighting a, a member of the crew and stuff, it was very clearly AB. And it kind of, he kind of threw AB under the bus in a way. So I'm, I'm very intrigued to see how AB will respond. This is really weird that you're doing that. That's it. And he used it against us in his video. Hold on. Yeah, I was asking him if, it, if this was just clickbait or if he was serious about it. And I, when he told me he was serious, I'm like, as a fan, you know that sounds fucking insane, right? Like, that sounds insane. But again, as I'm recording, yeah. Here, here's him talking about it. And again, I want to watch the whole thing. Trust me, guys, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. But here he is talking about AB's message to him. This. Yesterday, I posted a teaser to this video and I've received more backlash than I've gotten in a very long time. So much so that huh. somebody from the H3 crew direct messaged me and called me insane for thinking this. I also. So, I mean, that's, that's a pretty charged statement. And. <laughs> also, it was a low blow from Jake to include that because, again, it kind of. It kind of insinuates in a way that like AB is like working behind the scenes to shut down any Ethan criticism. And I don't think that that's what was happening there at all. I think what literally was happening was AB was like, this video is not the move you want to make because it, it doesn't make sense. And it's, you know, you're actually doing more harm to people by creating a video like this. And again, in my comment section, everyone was saying that they sympathize with Ethan about health anxiety and a lot of people are saying that they have it as well. So I don't necessarily think AB going behind and saying don't make this video or I don't know if this is going to work out in your favor was something shady for Jake to kind of like, like, I don't, so him including that was weird. But anyway, I'm intrigued to hear what AB has to say. And apparently there's lore with AB that I didn't know. I, I don't fucking know. I mean, but that, that's not exactly what happened. I'll that's show, not exactly what I'll happened. I'll show the uh, also, mess. People correctly guess. This isn't red wine, by the way. I'm not just day drinking at 5 p.m. Well, it's 5 p.m. somewhere in part, but no, it's not red wine. It's that it was AB. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you, AB. Yeah. Um, here's the AB exchange, or here's the exchange so you guys can see it. This oh, is pretty shit. good, right? Like, I can't even... And by the way, he, as a fan of the show, you know I'm the pettiest, dirt, uh, messiest bitch online. Mm -hmm. How is he a fan? I don't know. Well, I'll go through it. He's uh, like a mega fan. 
Yeah. Wild. It's wild. It's wild to me. It's like the joke, you know? It's, he's like the worst type of person online in that he's a fan of this show. And we do a, we push the, the edge and we're super offensive on a daily basis. Yet when I lightly brush against the one thing that he knows about, all of a sudden it's a, mm-hmm. it's a full-on revolt. Like, mm-hmm. bro, you didn't care about all the other shit? Yeah. You, you got to stick up for Lupus. He, he said apparently one time in the video, I was stealing Lupus glory. <laughs> <laughs> Lupus glory. <laughs> so here's the text. I mean, that was one of the things that Jake kept saying in the video that really rubbed me the wrong way. Um, he kept saying Ethan was like sad in a way that he wasn't getting like an insane diagnosis or that Ethan was sad that he wasn't getting lupus or whatever. And again, to insinuate that someone being fearful of possibly having something is them disappointed that they're not getting cancer or getting lupus is really... It's really a problematic statement to put out there. It's almost more problematic than what you were accusing Ethan of doing, but... This message, A.B., you want to read it? I can read it. You can read it. <clears throat> so A.B. texted him, and you guys were on Talking oh, Turkey. Oh, God. We did a collab together. Yep. I, I'll hold off on that, but this okay. is why I don't fucking do collabs. My one and only collab. <laughs> this is why I fucking told him, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm going to hold off. Go ahead. I'll wait. You can do them, A.B. It's fine. I know, but this is why I don't. Happens. Happens. I, I know He's you're cursed. okay with it. I know you're okay with it, but this was exactly my fucking fear. And the first person I do it with, this shit happens. And the motherfucker, I, he does it the day we go on break, so I gotta stress about it all fucking break too. Uh, I'm gonna hold off. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll, I'll say it as a footnote here. That's also an interesting note. I know we touched upon that a couple minutes ago, but for Jake to post this video the second that H3 goes on break is. I mean, it's very tactical. It's it. It was done for a reason. It just kind of further proves this, you know, like throwing a rock at someone and they throw a bigger one back and then you're like, ah, like, you know what I mean? Yikes. This came out right after we went on break. And when I watched this, I I was honestly pretty upset by it. And um, I wanted to react so bad, Mm -hmm. uh, do an Ethan Klein video. But I'm I'm really glad that I restrained myself, enjoyed my break. And now I can come back and and talk with all you guys about it. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that... uh, I restrained myself and waited until now. I, I was impressed with you because yeah. I, I held off on watching it all the way through until last night, and I was infuriated. So I haven't watched it. We still it haven't watched it. I literally make it wow. impossible. <laughs> and he, as a fan, he knew to do it right before break because that's when you brought your Ethan Klein videos. I believe you think that, he was wanting the reaction. Yes, I think he underestimated the response. I thought he probably thought he would get some, you know, pushback, but nothing that serious. And then he would bait you into responding. Well, I think yeah, there's there's like a huge market for Ethan hate videos. So mm-hmm. like, he was, I think if you're trying to tap into that, you'll probably piss off some of our fans who are defensive of me and then you'll probably get a whole bunch of new fans yeah. who are like i hate ethan mm-hmm. you know but i don't think he got anyone uh i even see i saw people on social media who like are straight up like um do not like me being like what the hell was the point of that video mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway ab says i'm assuming your new video is clickbait lol he responds hey buddy as someone who has dealt with chronic illness and has a nonprofit for people with chronic illness oh not the big paragraph <laughs> I have to talk about it. The goal is not to cancel anybody, but lying about doctors thinking he has lupus, self-diagnosing on the show, comparing lupus to other, quote, more serious diseases, and getting donations in support of a diagnosis he doesn't have is the problem with online self-diagnosis and feeding on sympathy. After reading, after speaking to women who are suffering financially and physically from this illness, I decided to make this video. You're not mentioned at all, but I will be saying how I have relationships with people around him. And don't, that, by the way, that was a lie. He's- <laughs> That's a really weird message to say. You're not mentioned at all, which isn't true. He did indirectly mention AB. Everyone knew it was AB. And also to message AB and say, I will let everyone know that I do have relationships with the people around him. Again, I'm not at that part yet, but what are the relationships around him that he has? I hope that gets... I hope I figure that part out. Like, that's such a weird message to be like, I need to let people know that I do have relationships with all the people around him, which in a way makes me more credible. But it's like... What a really interesting, really, really, really interesting message. He said, I mean, he didn't say your name, but he definitely snitched on you. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. He says, I will be saying that I have relationships with people around him, and I don't want that to jeopardize anything. <laughs> okay. So A.B. said, that's insane, dude. As a viewer, I'm honestly shocked that you would take uh, that seriously in any way possible. You do not call him insane. You said that is insane. Like, mm-hmm. the take is insane. Yeah. yeah. It's an insane take. Yeah. So, uh, oh, sh- did that just come up now? Oh, fuck. Jake's gonna make a sequel. <laughs> Members go up, just gave 250 euros, man. No, charge that back, bro. I'm not trying to steal lupus glory. For, loop, oh, for Ethan's no. lupus. Sorry, oh, Jake. Fuck. You no, you're getting us in trouble. <laughs> Sorry, Jake, you little it. I hope you saw he usually doesn't disclose taking 90% from his charity's merch profits. Oh, that, okay. I wasn't even gonna go there with the guy. I, you know, I'm not trying to, I'm trying to temper, I'm trying to keep it to the, I'm not trying to like go in and ruin this guy's whole life. So, that being said, this guy's going to look like a real fucking idiot when we're done. <laughs> and then the third and final point that I don't feel bad is that it's still on his YouTube channel. <clears throat> look at this idiot. 
No, that's true. And something I did learn, I think they talk about this because I saw, I think it was Spill Some Tea With Me uploaded it, maybe, that Jake deleted the video in the process of them filming this, which meant that Jake was watching along. But it's like, I feel like I would be so much more sympathetic towards Jake if he had deleted the video before he wrote about getting all the backlash or had deleted it sometime within the three weeks. And again, the clip I saw of Ethan was like, I wouldn't have talked about this if he hadn't have kept the video up for so long, but he kept the video up until we went live, which is like, if you don't stand by it anymore or whatever, like, why is it still up? So I don't fucking know. I don't know what he was doing. I don't know. <clears throat> I said, well, I didn't even say anything. I really like Jake and I, I, I really like his content up until this point. So I just don't know what was happening. I think, I, I, I don't know what was in the decision process or why it stayed up for so long or just what was going on. Well, one little, yesterday I put out an Insta story. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, your Insta story from yesterday? Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll pull it up. Thought I had. I got it right here. Oh, here. This, that main thing is you, right? His has both. The so. monitor, that's what I thought, yeah. Just making sure. Oh, it's kind of confused. His has both. So literally all I posted was my face when I'm excited to return to the podcast tomorrow with his face there, smiling mm -hmm. nicely, sweetly. And that was how I felt. <laughs> Didn't say anything else. Uh -huh. Didn't say anything about him the whole break. Mm -hmm. Now, this is interesting as well, like when I think back on this message. So e that's all Ethan posted throughout the entire time that Jake had this video up for three weeks was my face when I'm excited to return to the podcast and it's a photo of Jake. And that's when Jake responded being like, I'll do anything to make this stop, like the threats, the whatever. Obviously people doing that is so wrong and I don't stand by that. But that's all Ethan said versus what Jake said. Like I'm not even, like it doesn't matter here, the size difference. Like Jake doubled down on the video for three weeks, kept it up up until this point. All Ethan did was my face when I'm excited to respond. And Jake's like, I can't do this anymore. Stop it. Make it stop. Number one, the video is still up. But number two, like, again, as a content creator of a similar size as Jake, you can't make a video on someone and expect that they don't respond. Most of the chances they don't respond. But if they do, then, you, you know, you have to be able to take it, I guess. Nothing. And here's what he responded. He says, I will do anything to make this stop. Dude, it's on your channel. It's still up on your channel. What make the fuck what are you stop. talking about? I didn't even say anything about you. It's still on your channel. Clearly, you're not doing it. If he would have removed it during the break, I wouldn't I wouldn't have cared. I would have, by the time the break came, I was very kind of, my emotions had simmered and I was mm. like, not really, I wasn't angry anymore. So if he had removed it, I would not be doing this. Okay. I'm thankful on one hand that he didn't because this is good content. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I will do anything to make this stop. Uh, the death threats telling me to kill myself and saying I was never sick in the first place is something I cannot handle. I was trying, that's literally what you did to me in your video, but okay. I was trying to make a video from the perspective of a sick person didn't connect with everyone. I was in the hospital last week after posting a video and I legitimately cannot handle it anymore. I apologize to everyone involved. So obviously, you know, don't send death threats. That's crazy. Um, and don't, you know, be mean. However, I do notice this trend of people. And by the way, this man made a video making a super personal attack on me, mm -hmm. knowing that I'm a messy bitch. And then when I just show his face, he wants, he, he's, he's like, no, 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 no. Someone had a good analogy. It's like when your little brother punches you and then, and then when you're going to hit him back, he goes, no, 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 I'm done. I'm done. Fight's over. Yep. It's like, bro, come on. You made your bed. And now you got it. Got... I do think that's a good analogy. And again, I feel like I can speak on someone like of a similar size channel as Jake doing the same thing that Jake does. Like in any video I make, you can respect a response. But again, if you're going to make a video that you're opening the video saying, you know, that this is going to be your most hated video. You know that it's going to ruffle feathers. You're throwing members of the team under the bus. You, you know, shall maybe res get a response. Like, I, just, I don't know what his thinking was necessarily at all. You gotta sleep in it. And again, it's still on your channel. Yeah, the first How can you say you've done anything? I will to do anything to make this stop. Do what? Wake what stop? I don't even know. Oh. Oh, he just private it. Well, it's too late, bro. Oh, too is late. it now? That's true. No, it's too late. <laughs> it's too late. Oops. Oh, you had all three oh, fucking God. weeks to do it, man. He's watching, honestly. <sighs> yeah, probably. Jake, you had three weeks, and every comment on the video was like, this is a bad take. Social media, this is a bad take. Nobody liked, nobody was down with it. And it took him until now, for some reason, when I'm here actually defending myself. Like, bro, you have a public video up with like 125,000 views, and people that aren't familiar with me and my show can take away a really nasty impression of me. So, of course, I'm, I have every single right to come here and respond. And I the took fact it down, that okay? You just took it down now. I also think that was quite lame. Like, it literally was up for three weeks. You're deleting it in the moment of them responding to it. It's lame, dude. Like, you know, if you said you knew that it was going to get you so much backlash, it did. And you're waiting until they're finally responding. Like, I just don't know what he was thinking. No, it's not going to save you, brother. You might as well just bring it back up. <laughs> Public that shit. <laughs> you know, fuck it. Uh, don't worry, we have backups. Yeah, of course, we oh, downloaded it. Don't worry, Jake. We've got it. <laughs> well, of course, we downloaded it because my immediate 
expectation is that he's gonna erase this. We got him. And he didn't. Almost a whole month, he did not. <laughs> So, but yeah, we don't. Why is he doing this? It's so, so embarrassing, bro. <laughs> but wait, and you guys haven't even seen the video, how mean-spirited it is and stuff. <sighs> <clears throat> it's bits and pieces. <clears throat> Excuse me. So then, like, before I even watch the video, there's weird stuff to get to. So here's the background of his weird fan behavior. First time he ever called into the show, he called oh. into the show, and I didn't know this. There was a- Okay, so this is the part that I haven't seen that everyone's telling me to watch. Apparently, there is more lore to Jake and H3 than what we know. And when I heard about this, I was like, okay, what do we mean by this? Because, like- I have lore with YouTubers that I talk about where, you know, like I had made videos being a fan of people or, you know, I followed people and tweeted them on Twitter or, you know what I mean? So this is what I'm interested to see because I'm seeing a lot of people talk about this, but I'm like, a lot of this could apply to things I've done to YouTubers, you know, by like tweeting them or making videos being like, I'm a fan or whatever. And, you know, those things have blown up in my face, but like, apparently this is a lot more intense. I don't know yet. So I'm intrigued. Uh, but I don't know if this is going to be like level headed lore as in like, oh, Jake, you know, tweeted that he loved the pod or if it goes deeper, if it goes deeper, then it's not a good look, but scandal. Some of you guys might remember <clears throat> James was one oh, no, the Emilio's apparently ripped off a photographer that did work for them. And I brought him on and I said, Hey, I'm going to pay you for the money. They didn't give us like 500 bucks. That here's, was here's... Him? Okay. So the lore was that Jake went on the pod. Okay. Yeah, that was him. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> So here I'm gonna play the clip. I don't know. But stay on the line. I'm gonna send you five hundred dollars because the Demilio family. Did. Holy fuck! Ethan looks so different. Okay, so Ethan's offering to send Jake five hundred dollars, and Jake is on the line. Okay. Yeah. This matter. caption says, "Funny that Jake Doolittle is coming for Ethan after calling in and begging for a job." That's true, right? Yeah. What a man! Yeah. Yeah. What a man! Send you five hundred. I'm gonna pay because they're cheap fucking freaks. It's like a Romeo or, or Juliet. Or their team is. Well, yeah. 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 So thank you stay on the line, thank okay? You. Thank you very much. I'm gonna make I you. I have a question. Go ahead. I have a question. Go ahead. If uh. If uh, if you look over my resume, can you keep your five hundred dollars? Uh -huh. Stay on the line. Are you? Right? <laughs> you hear me groan? We had a nice. <laughs> I was groaning in my mind. Yeah, because like here, I'll play it again, Dan. We can do Dan groan. Uh, That's how exactly what I felt. I was like, we just had a nice moment. Mm -hmm. Like, why are you fucking it? Okay. Yeah. Just take the 500, man. Yo, someone just donated two bucks and said, do little too late. Oh. <laughs> nice. I love I'm so that sorry. One. Thank you, sexy trash panda. Jake, do better. $500. Stay oh. in the line. <laughs> <laughs> are you in LA? He did say he was subscribed. I'm not in LA. I'm remote, but let You're me know. You're in me, bro. Me, I you I can it. Okay, so stay in the line. I'm going to give you 500. I'm going to give you... <clears throat> I didn't want to even deal with it. Yeah. Like, so that, that was his... Wow. I had an, one interaction. Okay. So... A little bit more lore than what I would normally have with YouTubers. I mean, live on air asking for a job after being offered $500 is a little bit cringe, I'll be honest. Um, okay. <laughs> Which again, kind of like, it further makes you think about the video because that he made on Ethan because again, I've gotten backlash in the past for making videos on creators and people being like, oh, you're a fan, you're a fan. But I think this is different because like, especially whenever he like throws up like he knows the members of the team, like to have him on record being like, give me a job working for you. It does make the video that he made on them seem a little bit more made for a reason than just that he actually was annoyed by it. Okay, so, okay, not not often a great fit. With him, that was it. Which happens to be so generous, so funny. And you know what, just because I did something generous for him doesn't mean he can't criticize sure, me. Sure, but like, it's just funny because he brings it back to money, like you're faking illness for money. That is one of the dumbest points in his whole video. <laughs> because throughout the whole lupus thing, as you guys remember, I donated quite a bit of money to people for yeah. the medical bills, well exceeding the amount of donations I got during that time. But anyway, we'll get into the nitty gritty of that. Here's the application he sent us. Huh? Um, oh my God, Jake actually sent, oh God. Oh, he actually sent one. It's pretty long. Hello again, everyone. Just wanted to check in for my previous email. I'm still looking for consistent work and would love to hear from you guys, even if you decide to go a different way. Oh my God, there's another one. Hello again, everyone. I know that Ian was hired onto the team by following up consistently. I'm going to do that. Oh, just lots of oh. All I need is the okay from you guys and I'll put myself out there. I'll ship portraits of the crew, candidates behind the scenes. Guys, I'm planning on coming to LA before you guys break up for the end of the year. I would love to do something if you're... Oh, that's a lot of emails. Oh, oh Persistent. Oh, oh. And again, again, not on, the, on this alone, it doesn't say anything because mm -hmm. I've talked about how persistent okay, have gotten uh, people jobs uh, on, on here before. So <clears throat> I'm not uh, saying that, <clears throat> but he did send a resume and lots of follow-ups. Mm -hmm. Now, it continues. AB met him 
at Creator Clash. You want to talk, you take the ball, maybe? Uh, yeah, I mean, I wish he didn't delete his messages between me so I can remember the flow of things, but, uh, you know, he was nice, and he, I recognized him from calling the show, and he offered, well, actually, no, I think at first, did I... He, hold on, quick clarifying question. Did he delete those messages in, before he announced this video? I don't, I, I don't know, pro, I, because I... Went, you went to go look at, I went to go look and this happened, and they were gone. Correct, yeah. It may have happened when you texted him that thing, and he's like, oh, shit, he's not on my team. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I know, he, uh, he offered to take pictures of me at Creator Clash, and I said, uh, thank, I appreciate the offer, but I'm um, be really busy, this and that, and then uh, I met him in the lobby of my hotel. Um, and he's, you know, I said hi, he was really nice. And I seen him a few other times, and then uh, eventually I was like, okay, yeah, he can take pictures because Teddy Fresh made the robe, and uh, I didn't have any professional photos in it, so yeah, he took photos. And then, uh, actually, I believe that's when he told me that he was the guy that called in, and I connected it. But uh, yeah, he took the photos, and I didn't end up even posting them. Uh, nothing, nothing wrong with him, they were great photos, but... Uh, Lena posted something and tagged him in it. He said, if you just, if you can post it and tag, I appreciate it. I mean, let's go here it is. And by the way, I mean, I like the, the composition. I love you guys. The photo's not that good. Mm, yeah. It's a little grainy. Right, Amy? I mean, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. I didn't post it. <laughs> There's a ring. <laughs> but I mean, it's nice. I mean, you guys are awesome. So that makes the picture great. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, yeah. Um, uh, again, I wish you didn't delete everything. So I remember the flow. Again, there's, this is no longer like what I said about that people have like thrown in the face that I was fans of creators anymore. I mean, he has wanted to be on this team for a while, which is, you know, but also more so than that, I mean, him throwing AB under the bus, whereas whenever he was like working with AB and being super nice with AB, it's just like, like, what was the intention here? Jake, oh, I really do like him and I really liked his content and I've made a video with Jake before and I really enjoyed it and he was super sweet behind the scenes. So this is just like, Oy. Things, oy, oy, oy. He kept asking me to collab with him over and over, and I explained to him I don't do collabs. You know, it's nothing against him. I just don't do it because I don't want anyone thinking that I'm using the show to, to do all these collabs. And also, like, I just did the Creator Clash. I've had a lot of creators who offer, you know, iDubs, for example, you know, that I could have done videos with. I wasn't looking to do anything like that. But he kept asking, and he was very persistent. And eventually, I just, I just he's like, it won't take long. Just real quick, 20 minutes, wherever it was. And again, if he still has the messages, he'll be like, no, I said it was going to take 30 minutes. Whatever the fuck he's going to explain. I don't, I don't know exactly how the flow things were because of that. But I eventually said, yeah, he did not have a lot of followers. I was just doing it as a favor. And this is my fear. This is why I did not want to do this, you know, um, because I was always afraid whatever I do, someone's going to use it someday to, uh, you know, talk shit about the show or whatever it is. So, yeah, this is why. No one fucking asked me again, please. Well, hold on. How did he find you at the hotel? That was the part I found out. Oh, yeah, no, I... It, the first Creator Clash, because it was a new thing, um, we didn't have all the security there that we should have. And so fans and were finding out where we were staying and like waiting there all night in the lobby just for people to walk by. And he was one of the people that I saw there. Um, I don't, he, I'm guessing he just found out that's where it was or maybe he got a, a badge. Yeah. A badge. Like a, a photography badge. Maybe he knew someone else. I know, I know he knows some other YouTubers. Probably the same shit he did with us where he said, oh, I'm friends with this person. Um, like he, when he reached out to me, he's like, oh, I just, Actually, I believe you're going to show the messages. But he, at one point, was like, oh, you just had on Curtis Connor, who's a friend of mine, so you need to come on my channel. And he just made it seem like he's really close to all these guys. I don't know if he is or not, but. Yeah, what's this about us? Jake yeah. Doolittle, this is um, him spamming your Twitch. Oi, 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 oi. It's not looking good. I mean, again, to throw AB under the bus whenever AB is basically saying that, like, Jake showed up at his hotel to, like, work with him and stuff. What do these say? Dear AB, come on my YouTube channel. I will not be ignored. One day, my ass. My tip didn't show up on the screen. I, I sent a bribe. Hi, King. Hope you're good. AB is my king. Make a video with me. Chat. Yeah, so he, you can't delete Twitch chat. Not not so I was able to look him up. Because, yeah, I would, so what he would do also is he would donate, like, so that I had, you know, kind of more force me to respond yeah. when he would send messages. So he kept saying, come on my channel. Um, <clears throat> where's the... When I click this, I'm trying to find the... Didn't you send me a bunch of DMs you guys had? Anyway, on Twitch, he goes, Dear AB... Come on my YouTube channel, please. I will not be ignored. One day, my ass. My tip didn't show up on stream, but I did send a bribe. It's a little weird tone. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. Hi, King. Hope you're good. AB Ayad is king. Make video with me. Okay. <clears throat> um, I don't have a, a link to the... Uh, let me look for it. I can make a video. Here. But anyway, as you look for that. Here's the collab you guys made. Oh, the they show. actually Hi, made sisters. one? Today I'm doing a video with my pal, AB. Hello. How's it going? You know what's going great, man. I'm so happy to have you here. I've oh, is he been wearing, he's wearing a freaking Teddy Fresh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And oh, so they actually made a video. I mean, fair fucks to AB. He actually made the video. I mean, when me and Jake collabed, I'm pretty sure it was like a mutual, like, hey, let's do this. And yeah, there was none of that whenever me and a or when me and Jake did it. I was very excited to do a collab with Jake and we had a lot of fun. We did a Shane Dawson video together and he was lovely and very funny. And I really enjoyed filming that video with him. He was really, really, really funny to be with. But again, it was not a situation where either of us were chasing after each other. I think it was just a unanimous, let's make it. And I had a lot of fun, but again, you probably have a lot of fun whenever you're not being like <laughs> forced into doing it. Even though I did do it, that was my one term that he did not mention H3 or anything like that, but. The <laughs> uh, he's wearing the smoky shirt. So it's like, ugh, it's this fallen fan phenomenon, dude. It's like, you can't just move on with your life. You have to, like, if you stop watching the show, you have to fucking, for some reason, hate everything mm -hmm. about me. I'm fallen. Um, 
But anyway, I thought it was really Hi, nice. Hi, sisters. Today I'm doing a video with my pal, AB. Hello. How's it going? So, you know, it's going great, man. I'm so happy to have you here. I wanted to do a video with you for a while. I'm new to doing this whole YouTube collab type thing. Mm -hmm. That's what you call it. But sure. I guess I'm, I'm honored. Thank you for having mm -hmm. me. Matt and I took photos for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sweet boy, AB is. Good boy. Mm -hmm. Good kid. <clears throat> um, are those uh, messages worth reading, AB? Probably. I think they are, right? I me so long. I'm going through our WhatsApp because I sent him before break. Um, I'm not going to read it. <laughs> <laughs> But if you want to move forward, it kind of goes in line with stuff he sent to other people. So. so anyway, he's trying to reach out to AB, but then we started to slowly realize that he's been reaching out to everybody. Here, he's messaging Sam. Okay, YouTuber, lol. Do you do digital art? I do. Are you open to commissions at all? I have a clothing brand and fun for people with chronic illness. I love some stuff for our world. Okay. You can accuse me of profiting from it. From, mm. um, never stop that lol. Do you think that's appropriate to do a lol after talking about <laughs> chronic illness? I mean, how offensive can it be? There's nothing, funny. There's nothing funny about lupus. Okay. That's so weird. <laughs> Sam says, I don't do commissions at the moment because I'm too busy, but can you let me know what you had in mind and I can see if I can fit it in? Let me get my thoughts together a bit more and I'll let you know. I'll also be at the live show. Excited to see you there. Awesome to see you there. Let me, blah, blah, blah. Show was amazing yesterday. Yeehaw, I'm going to come out to LA soon this year. So again, he's, he's, a fan. he's working the angle on, on mm -hmm. Sam. He's also working the angle on Olivia, Dan, and Love separately. <laughs> Here's this. <clears throat> Jake Doolittle. <laughs> come on my channel, please. Who's this to? This was to me. So he's just, okay. Come on my channel, please. This is me reminding you to come on my channel. Uh, excuse me, are you doing videos with people now? Um, girl, I love... Did you leave, keep them on red? Uh, I didn't accept it. Oh, you're such a legend. <laughs> a, lot of these, a lot of these, um, the crew didn't even see them until yeah. the situation right. went. Yeah, I wouldn't look. I'm, I'm, this fucking guy didn't even message me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Fuck, dude. Yo. What the fuck, Jake? I thought we are boys, man. Fuck. He didn't message me. Although, I went and checked. I think, if he erases it... Yeah, you were right, it? I think. Do you remember when, uh... I think Tana went back last year at one point when the Adam Levine stuff was happening, and she said that if it says accept, but there's no message, it means that they had sent one, and it showed up like that for you. Oh, it did? Yeah. Mm. Okay. So I don't know what he sent me. I don't got shit, dude. <laughs> Sorry, Zach. I think he knew you were just too cool, Zach. He wasn't going to get in. Jake, my boy. <laughs> he, he wasn't ready for Lou. <laughs> Not <Nah, bro. clears throat> All right, so that's what he did to Olivia. This is to... Love. Is this to you, Love? Oh, yeah, yeah. Love. I'll be at Creative Clash with Media Pass shooting content for my channel. I would love to shoot content for the pod if interested. I've called him before, and would love to work together again. Again? I'm a friend of the show. Yeah. There's no again. We didn't work out. <laughs> uh... Oh, uh, this is not good. This is not good. No, I, again, a lot of people are saying that they shouldn't be putting all this on blast. But here's the thing. I mean, Jake did frame the video as, you know, I'm friends with the people on the crew and stuff. And they're responding by being like, no, this is all what we're getting. I mean, this is not a great look at all. Um, and again, it it... Normally when people be like someone was a fan or something, I normally don't like that argument because it's like a very easy way of discrediting like criticism. But I think in this case, I really am like considering Jake's morals in making this video because this isn't just reaching out to like AB, this is reaching out to like everyone. And it, it's different now, it, it's different now. Like I mean, showing up to hotels, doing these masks, it's different than someone just being like, oh, Adam, fuck you in your video on this person because you used to be a fan. You know what I mean? Like, it's different. We didn't work together. <laughs> yeah, just to be clear. You called in, and we talked for a minute. That's not working together. Um, Dan, I'll be at the Creative Clash with the media pass. Oh, oh same, same message. Copy-pasted message. It's respectful. Come that is disrespectful. Come on. <clears throat> so wait, we're, okay, so your DMs are here? Yeah, number six. Yeah. Oh. Six. Okay, perfect. So here's all the, the messages to AB. There, well, he deleted some, so they may not make complete sense. Mm. Which the vibe, <clears throat> I said. Oh my god, there's so many. And also to, like, unsend messages that you sent to, like, AB and stuff. It's just like, just leave everything up. Listen, if I will ever give anyone any piece of advice on the internet is if you're going to put something out there, do not unsend messages because the other person can literally be like, here's all the unsent messages and it will make you look so guilty. So just don't do it. It's okay, buddy. It's not worth it. Let me see what I can do for you. So he asked for mm -hmm. tickets. Yeah. Or, this, or some kind of pass with Ready Flash take photos. Hey, dude, I'm, did you hook him up? Were you able to? Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. This, I'm sorry. This one is for our live show. Okay. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, first one is about the fight. He deleted whatever. And then the next one. Hey, dude, I'm trying to get show. you a spot. He was trying to get tickets to our live. Yes. And did you hook him up for that? We well, did. We have a long waiting list, but the tricky part is we usually don't know how many spots we have until the day of today. B. I'm keeping an eye out though. I'll update you if anything changes. So nice. Okay, that's totally okay, buddy. Hey, buddy, any updates? Uh, I got you a ticket. Blah blah blah. Yada yada. Bob's your uncle. Mm -hmm. Okay. AB's been so nice to him. Um, so this man is a, he's a fan of the show. I think it's important to set that. He knows me. He knows the show. Fallen. All right. So that, with all that being said, let's just let's watch Fallen. the video. And you you guys are gonna enjoy this because ugh, I'm telling you, I couldn't get there. Oh wait, I need the backup. He removed it. <sighs> He literally just removed it when I was just opened it. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, he's I guess he's like, Bro, why did you wait till this moment? Like, come on. If you did it yesterday, I would have stopped. <laughs> nah. Be real. Maybe not yesterday. <laughs> Be real, dude. Come on. <laughs> Maybe two days. <laughs> two days ago, I, I believe you. Thank you. Um, we need the uh, backup. Yeah, I'm looking for him now. He's getting the backup. Can I just say uh, now too, just because he is whining about people harassing him and stuff? Don't. 
he's getting it. He's he's getting it real bad today here on the show. The embarrassment is is plenty. Mm -hmm. We don't we don't all of you in the audience. You don't need to interact with him. No, this, this is enough. Please just so leave it alone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I totally agree. agree. But yeah, and another thing I guess I wanted to touch on is <clears throat> I feel like first of all, death threats are horrible and should never happen. Obviously, I bought them. It's scary and it's unsettling. That being said, I do feel like some, when people get caught doing something and they go, "I'm getting death threats," like they, I feel like it's a little overplayed here. You know what I mean? You and everybody else. <laughs> oh, you think that too? Yeah, I mean, if you're a public figure. You're gonna get psycho. I mean, mm -hmm. is, has anyone here on the crew not gotten a death threat at one point? That, that's my other thing too. It's like, mm -hmm. yeah, dude, we, you know, we <laughs> get, a dime a dozen. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, so. I get, not saying it's okay. People not that do that are right. nuts and yeah. fuck them, but yeah. it's also like that doesn't absolve you of anything because yeah. that happened to you. And right? again, it's I didn't like, even say anything. He goes, "Please make it stop." <laughs> oh, you know what? It was? He saw me talking about it right now, and I said, "The video's still up on your channel." Mm -hmm. So he maybe he thinks he, now he's done everything he can. All right, here we go, guys. Ready? Let's do this. Even Klein, harmful or hype? Okay, we will leave it there because there's like three hours left. Um, I just wanted to get that lore at the start. Um, yeah, it's really not a great look, and it does make me question completely the reason he made the video. Um, I mean, when I made a video with Jake, again, I, I can't remember how the interaction went, but it was like a mutual thing. We had a great time. I really enjoyed filming the video. Um, I think the video was fun. Um, but again, when you now you look at Jake's video with that context... It changes everything it does. It does. It's not even just to Ethan. It's like it's like wanting to be a crew member on all the teams. So it's like, if Jake was a member of the crew, would he not have had a problem with the lupus stuff? Again, just let people have health anxiety because we're going to have it as humans. We are unfortunately going to self-diagnose. We are unfortunately going to think of worst case scenario. We are human at the end of the day. Yeah, this is not a great hill to, you know, from Jake. Um... I just wanted to watch this part. I will let me know your opinion. We'll talk about it down below. And I will see you in my next one. And goodbye.